Hi everybody, this video is sponsored by a contribution from Anonymous, and here's her story. Dear Ali, thank you for the insight on the son-husband subject. I am now in a real dilemma. My, son's, my husband's son is, com is a completely entitled douchebag. My husband and I just moved states away from where his children live. When we moved, his son volunteered to help. On the day we left, we weren't completely prepared, and he became upset and threw some of my personal belongings. My husband did not witness this, but I told him. During the trip, he treated, my, treated me like shit and refused to give my keys to the moving, give me the keys to the moving van, which he insisted on driving the whole way. Mind you, I have been to his house and never treated his belongings with any disrespect. He has announced that he will be coming to stay with us this weekend without asking. I have not spoken to him since we moved here. Even when, we, even when we visited last week. My question is, how do I cope with having someone I completely despise in my home? Thank you. <clears throat> well, if you just saw him last week and he didn't talk to you, why is he coming to your house now this week and you move states away? I would tell your husband no. Like, I don't want him here until he calls me and apologizes, first off. Secondly, I would consider if he is going to be there, you not being there. Go stay at a hotel. Go go to a, go to a spa weekend. Get out of there if you can. And tell your husband I don't want to be around him. He's your he's your son, not mine. He abused me. You haven't stood up for me. And I would tell and I would tell your husband as well. I'm telling you how he's treating me, and you allow it to happen. Why would I want to be here? Why would I want to be here? I and mean, it's really uh, a lot of it on your husband, too, because he's allowing it to happen. You don't have to let him in the house. But if your husband's insistent, then say, I'm going on a spa weekend or something. Be out of the house. Don't be there. And it's going to suck. And you know what? If he doesn't apologize and he doesn't make it right, you're not going to be able to cope. It's going to drive you absolutely fucking insane. Your home is where you want to feel most comfortable. And when you have somebody there who's making you feel uncomfortable, it's, it's, it's miserable. Nobody wants to be miserable and uncomfortable in their own home. So if he wants to come in, you were just there last weekend. So and he didn't talk to you. So why is he coming there this weekend? He's probably out for something. More than more than likely. Don't be there. And if your husband has a problem with that, say, listen, I'm not putting up with this shit. Like, we're a family and you want me to love, but I'm not going to put up with this. And he makes me feel uncomfortable. And all your hemming and hawing to your husband about, you know, family, like, it doesn't, it's not going to change how I feel. So either he can apologize and act right, under the understanding if he steps out of line, he's out of there. You're out. No questions asked. You're out. You step out of line, you're out of here. Lay some ground rules. He might not even show up. Or don't be there. Because if you're there, if he just shows up, and the, there's no way to cope with that. None. None. It's your home. You've been disrespected. There's no coping with that. There is none. You need to make that clear to your husband. I'm not going to cope with this. It's going to be miserable for everybody. And then why? So there could be a huge fight. It's not worth it. That would be my suggestions to you. So, you know, as far as coping with him while he's there, you're not. It's going to drive you friggin' insane till, till he leaves. And there's no way around that. So, there, there, there's no coping with the narcissist ever. None. So, those are your options. I mean, I don't see other any other way because you're not going to be able to cope with it. So thank you for your donation. Thank you for your question. I appreciate it. Thank you, everybody watching. Please leave any advice in the comments section below. 
And again, if you have a topic you'd like me to cover, you want your story read on the channel, or have a narcissist you want to expose, whether it be by audio or text messages or emails, you know what to do with the PayPal link in the description box. I'll have the video right back to you. This is Ali Matthews. Thanks for watching. I'll see you all again soon.